Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tuomo and in this video I will show you how to fix this layout fill issue in the image component of Next.js version 10. So let's get started. First I will just create a fresh Next.js project. And let's open up the project. Okay, so first I'm gonna open up the pages folder and the index.js and I'll actually remove everything from here except the uh, default image, the virtual logo. Like so. And let's save it and try to run the application just to make sure that everything is working correctly. And let's switch back to the browser and we get the logo displayed down here. Great. Okay, so let me just recap what the issue is. So let's say I have images or an image that I don't know the width and height of. So in that case I would maybe want to just say that I want this image to be a height of 100. So I would do something like this. I take the height off and say that the image should be width of 100. Now if I save this and switch back to the browser I get an error saying that uh, the image must use width and height properties or layout fill property. Well if I don't know the height property I can try out the layout fill like this. Let's save it and switch back to the browser and we actually get the same error saying that the width and height property must be set. So let's take out the width property and save it. And now we get our image displayed but as we can see it doesn't have any width or height constraint so it's displayed pretty big here. So what if I wanted to set a max width for example. I know I want this to be maximum of 100 pixels or maximum width of 100 pixels then it would calculate the height automatically uh, depending on the image size. So let's try to add max width and let's say it's 100. Now when we save this switch back to the browser we can see that there is no change. So uh, max width doesn't have any effect on this image. So this is basically the problem and the uh, solution for this is to add a little bit CSS and I didn't come up with this solution myself. I'm not that good with CSS uh, but uh, I read found this from the Next.js repo. There is this discussion about layout fill in Next.js doesn't respect any height width max width max height styles. And there was actually this one person this Arno van Staden who suggested this uh, CSS fix for the image and this actually worked at least for me and in my use case. So let me just show you how to implement this CSS into our image in the Next.js app. So let's switch back to the Visual Studio code. I'll actually take out this max width from here. So let's first add the CSS and since we are already importing the styles from the home module CSS file, let's just open up that file in here and modify this. So I'm gonna delete everything inside of it and I'll take out the discussion and this is actually the CSS that we need but we need to tweak it a little bit. So I'll paste in that. So we have the image container class and then we want to have the div inside of that have the position set to unset and use the important. So I'll just take this away from here and add a new line saying image container greater than and then paste in the code I took away from there. Next we can 
take this image class away from here also and paste it to the bottom of the file. Great. Now we can save this and switch back to the index.js and now apply these class names that we defined here. So we have the image container that is set for the uh, container of the image and the actual image class for the image component. So let's add those. We have the container, image, container, and then the actual image. We have we have the image, like so. Now let's save this and switch back to the browser. So we see we have the image here and it's still pretty big, but we can actually see that it takes the whole width of the uh, browser window. And this is because we had the width set to 100% in the image container CSS. So let's change that up a little bit. I'll switch back to the Visual Studio Code and to the CSS file. So let's say if we wanted this to be, for example, 200 pixels. All we do is add it here. And we can see that it sets the width to 200 pixels and still the image is displayed correctly. Most likely we use images in multiple places in our application. So what we want to do is probably make this an own component so we can use just the component and don't have to worry all these styles and stuff in every place we need this image. So next let's create a custom image component that uh, behaves like the image we just styled. So I'm going to actually create a new folder here called components and inside of it I'll create image folder that's the name of our component and then inside the image folder I'll create image.js and image.module.css like this and I'll stop the server for now. So inside this module.css file we will add all the styles and inside the image.js file we will actually create our component. So let's add those styles first and I'm just gonna take the home module CSS file we just modified and take everything from there and paste inside the module image.module.css file like this. Then I'll add the image.js file and inside here we want to first import the uh, next.js image component and then uh, this uh, styles file we just created. So let's do that. Like this. I named the next.js image to next image instead of image because our component name will be image. Then I'll define the actual uh, component and export it like this. And then inside our image component we want to do the exact same thing we did here in the index.js file earlier. So we want to return a div which holds an image component inside of it. So I'll copy paste this inside of our component and add this to our return statement. like this and let's rename this to next image because we want to use the next.js image component. So I'll save this and start up the server and of course I need to import this inside the index.js. I'm gonna just take this away, add a div and import the, our own image component here. like this and then add in the component. I'll save this and switch back to the browser. Refresh the page and let's see, we can see that we actually get the image there. So the component importing is working. Now let's customize the image component. So now let's take these attributes away and leave in the class name 
then what we want is to uh, pass in a width and max width properties for this uh, component. So we can actually define the width uh, outside of this component. So I'll add some props here. We want the width and max width. And then I'm going to use the uh, spread syntax for the rest of the props. Now let's add a variable here and let's call it widths and it's an empty object for now. And what we want to do is if these uh, width and max width properties are defined, add them to this width uh, object and then pass in the object as a style attribute for this div. So first let's handle the uh, width and if it's defined, let's add it to the object. And I'll add 100% here as a default. So here we check if it's uh, defined. If it, if it is defined, then we'll add it to this object with width key and the value will be the prop value. And if it's not set, we'll set the width to 100% as a default. And let's do the same for the max width. Like this. Now all we have to do is pass in the width object to this uh, div as a style attribute. Like this. And then what we also want to do is add any other props that we got, which are stored in this uh, rest variable. We want to spread them here. So let's do that. Like so. Let's save it and switch back to the index.js. So what we still need to do is to add uh, props for this image component. So let's do that. So first we have the source and that was the like this if I remember correctly. Then let's add an alt and also the layout fill prop. And now let's say that we have a width of, let's say, 200 pixels. And now save this and switch back to the browser and hope for the best. Okay, we got an error. Looks like I have a typo there. Okay, let's save it and switch back to the browser. Oh, I, I set the dot in front of that string, so like this. Let's save it and now it should work. Yeah, there we go. We have the image here. And now if we want to change this width, for example, to be, let's say, 50%, we can do that and voila. And now we can also, uh, let's take the width uh, away altogether and save it and see what happens. Now we get a width of 200, I think, yeah. So now we get this uh, smaller image and that's actually because we forgot to remove from the image uh, CSS the width 200 pixels for the image container. And we don't need this anymore because we are defining the widths inside the component over here. So let's actually take that away from the CSS and save it. Now when we switch back to the browser, uh, the image is actually 100% uh, width. So it's the default width we set for it. And now if we want to define a max width for the component, we can just pass that as a prop. Let's say 500 pixels save it and it resizes the image. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. I'll see you in the next video.